Options have a language all their own, and when you begin to trade options, the information may seem overwhelming. When looking at an options chart, it first seems like rows of random numbers, but options chains charts provide valuable information that is absolutely necessary in order to begin trading. Not all stocks have options, but for those that do, the information is present in real time and in consistent order on something called the options chain. Learning the language of an option chain can help investors become more informed, which can make all the difference between making or losing money. In today's video, we'll go over a real life example. In our case, we will open our Robinhood app, head over to the search bar, and find a stock with options availability. Today, we're looking at Apple. If you don't see the button to trade options on your screen, you may need to go into settings and enable options trading within the app. Robinhood will typically disable this by default. Once you're in the options page, things may seem overwhelming, but trust me, it's not as bad as you think. The first thing you want to recognize is the call and put buttons. Basically, options chains are listed in two sections, calls and puts. A call option gives you the right to purchase 100 shares of a stock at a certain price to a certain date. A put, on the other hand, will give you the right to sell 100 shares of stock at a certain price up to a certain date. The next thing you'll recognize is the expiration dates on top. Options have various expiry dates. For example, you can buy call options expiring next week or next year. Options with less than 30 days to the expiry date will lose value very quickly due to something called theta. You might want to keep that in mind if you're getting ready to purchase. We then move on to this portion down below. These are the strike prices. It's the price at which you can buy with a call or sell with a put. Call options with higher strike prices are almost always less expensive than lower strike calls. The reverse is true for put options. Lower strike prices also translate into lower option prices. This goes back to something called in the money, at the money, and out of the money. Options considered in the money are usually very expensive as these strike prices have already been achieved. For an example, if Apple is currently trading around $120 a share, these call options down here with strike prices in the 110s are much more expensive than those above the current stock price. The opposite is true for puts, which are more expensive as we get above the current price. Options with strike prices that need the stock to move in order to get there are called out of the money and are usually much less expensive. For an example, an Apple call for a $240 strike expiring in a week is going to cost basically $0 because the chances of Apple doubling in price in a week is going to be right around 0%. Essentially, what it comes down to is probability. Options with a higher probability of ending up in the money are going to be more expensive than those with low probability. How you determine that probability is too complex for this video, but in its most basic form, it essentially comes down to how far away is the strike price, how much time is left until expiration, and what is the volatility on the stock itself. Finally, we have the most important piece to an option chain, the premium or simply the price. This column can be slightly confusing for beginners as these prices are quoted on a pair share basis, meaning that on Robinhood, which defaults option contracts to represent 100 shares of stock, a user has to multiply the price shown here by 100 to get the true cost. As an example, here is the $130 Apple call where it's quoted at 110. To buy this option, your account would be debited $110 as you need to multiply the $1.10 by 100. In essence, you will be risking at worst $110 with this option play. Option prices fluctuate constantly as the price of the underlying stock changes. And as we mentioned before, there are many factors that influence the price that are just way too wide in scope for this video. You can check out my channel and some of my other videos to get more familiar with these specific reasons. It's also important to note that in today's video, we have strictly talked about buying options and the related chains. If you take a peek at the top left part of the Robinhood page, you will recognize the buy and sell buttons. You want to make sure that as a beginner, you are sticking to buying options. Selling options is a whole different game that requires a much better understanding of the risks and the mechanics related to the derivative world. As an example, if you sell call options without actually owning the underlying stock, you expose yourself to unlimited losses. Yes, unlimited. With simple puts and calls, a user will never lose more than what he's putting in 
But in the sell game, your losses are not predefined. And along with other problems like assignment, it's definitely not a strategy that any beginner should undertake. At the end of the day, you can think of the options chain as sort of an options marketplace for that particular stock. We have two sections, calls and puts. Those buying puts are betting the underlying stock will go down before a certain date. Those buying calls are betting that the stock will go up before a certain date. The higher the chance of profitability, the more expensive the bet. We have deep in the money options, which are very high probability bets that also happen to be very expensive. We have at the money options, which are very realistic, essentially 50-50 bets that are priced accordingly. And finally, we have out-of-the-money options, which are essentially scratch-off lottery ticket type bets that are very inexpensive, but also have a very low chance of profitability. The more time you give your bet to come true, the more expensive it is. Options expiring in a week or a day are going to be cheaper than those expiring in a year or two. There are also countless other tips, tricks, and noteworthy facts that you should know about options before diving in and buying. The derivatives markets are complex compared to the stock world. And in this video, we are only scratching the surface. I hope that before you begin trading, you spend some time reading about the risks and things you should look out for when diving into this exciting and complex world. Thank you guys for watching. Please make sure you hit that subscribe button if you enjoyed. And as always, drop a comment below on what you think about this video.